Traditionally, 2D drawings were the standard for conveying ideas, but while architects and designers read plans and elevations every day, the people we're speaking to usually don't understand those tools as well. So with virtual reality and physical mock-ups, we're able to confirm that everyone has the same expectations for a project. It's critically, critically important that the client's expectations align with our expectations and the physical environment expectations. If we miss something, whether it's process, and that's the big thing, and flow for patients and the staff, then we didn't do our job. And as pretty as it looks, it will not be a successful project. With the VR, um, it gives me a good overview of the entire workspace. And with the actual mock, I like it because it actually allows me to be tactile and physically walk around in the space, feel things, touch things, move things around. I think I prefer the Cardboard City. Uh, I think it, it gives the clinicians and, and the staff a little bit better feel on the space. Um, but I think VR has a great place to play once you set the space. We sit in a lot of sessions where everyone thinks they understand and then they get into the mock-up or they get into the virtual reality setup and then they really understand it and um, something clicks. I think it just helps the general public who might not be able to read architectural drawings understand what they're getting and help manage their expectations throughout the whole design process and it allows them to kind of experience different design options in three dimension when they wouldn't be able to do so beforehand. What I think is very, very valuable is doing the mock-ups early on. Getting the clinicians, getting the people that are going to live in the space to feel it and see it and see where things re reside. And then down the road, once you kind of make that space a reality, then giving them the virtual tools to be able to walk through it and do more day in the life activities. I've worked in the ORs, I've worked in ICUs, I've worked on med surge. The VR has been really helpful after you get over the overwhelming part of putting on the goggles. So the biggest takeaway is just for the people that aren't familiar with VR mock-up that they know that they're out there and they can be used effectively to hopefully save them money and definitely time in the design process. I hope that clients who are here also start to ask for more of these tools being used on their projects. A lot of times people think that you can only use them on large-scale projects, but it's really projects of all sizes that can benefit.